Welcome to DCA TV. I am Jennifer Erickson, your host for today's show. Today we will speak with Dr. Christina T. Doe, a dentist at Smiles for OC, a comprehensive dentistry practice in Costa Mesa, California. Dr. Doe has been featured performing various dental procedures on the Emmy award-winning show, The Doctors. She has received numerous accolades for her animated children's educational DVD called Tooth Tales. Her exceptional skills in laser dentistry have led to her being featured on PBS American Health Journal and laser dental educational videos. Welcome, welcome Dr. Doe. It is an honor to be with you today. To get started, we will be talking about teeth whitening. Starting with our first question, is tooth whitening bad for my enamel? Why or why not? Well, tooth whitening, obviously all of us love tooth whitening. And the greatest thing about tooth whitening is it is not bad for our enamel. Um, it's a great way to get whiter, brighter teeth without damaging your enamel. How much does tooth whitening cost? Well, the cost of tooth whitening varies. Um, there's different ways to whiten your teeth. You can have custom trays made, which is probably the least expensive way for you to whiten your teeth. You can have in-office whitening in um, conjunction with tooth whitening trays, and that will probably double your costs. So the gamut range of whitening your teeth could be as little as maybe $250, and then all the way up to about $1,300. So it really depends on what you think is the way that you financially can afford things and then at the same time at the discretion of your dentist what tooth whitening option is the best because every patient has different darkness of their teeth they have different porosities of their teeth and different sensitivity so whether you whiten by your trays or you whiten by the in office or you can laser whiten as well it gives you many different options for patients who have different types of tooth sensitivity or tooth darkness. Are there any side effects after tooth whitening treatment? A tooth whitening does not cause permanent sensitivity. So I would say that's the only side effect that you could have with tooth whitening, which is um, temporary sensitivity. How long do the results from tooth whitening last? Well, tooth whitening can last differently for everybody. And tooth whitening, um, I would say if you wanna get the best long-term result with your whitening, then that means you will kind of curb your appetite for red wine, red marinara sauce, um, darker teas, sodas, coffee. So if you're a heavy, um, you know, dark fluid drinker or darker foods drink um, eater, then over time the whitening will start to deteriorate faster than those who just drink water or drink white wine. So there really isn't anything that says um, tooth whitening will last you one year or 10 years. So there's no actual real number of days or years that the whitening will last. So it's a matter of your lifestyle per se. So if you are a heavy um, drinker with darker fluids and darker foods, then whitening will last you not as long as those who have the lighter foods and the lighter fluids in their diet. Thank you so much for your time, Dr. Doe. This concludes this episode of DCA TV.